straight to Twitch, which is uh, in my description. I've got my link there to twitch.tv slash Nacho Fathers Gaming. So let's let you get a look at this gem that is Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Hopefully, the glare is not too bad on that. I'm going to let this cinematic roll because it's pretty special. Uh, joining the live right now, we're gonna be playing <laughs> Street Fighter the movie, the game. So what you're seeing is not a movie, but clips from a movie that then inspired a game that was inspired by a game. Should do a watch party someday of this wonderful Jean Claude Van Damme masterpiece that was Street Fighter the movie. Best part of the movie right there. Vega. Vega looked awesome in this movie. Of course, Raul Julia as Bison was epic. Street Fighter. <laughs> Street Fighter the movie. The game. Angle this a little bit better, maybe. What do you think? Do need to find better ways to... <laughs> I'm getting messages from my... My fellow Street Fighter enthusiasts here saying they wouldn't have gone here. Come on, now we did Mortal Kombat, now we're going to do the Street Fighter-esque Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that's it. Nothing like digitized graphics, right? That's not too bad. Really do wish that there was a better way to capture Oops. The gameplay than just pointing my camera at the television. All right, let's go ahead and fire this up. Welcome everybody who's hopping in on the live. If you want to watch the gameplay a little bit better, you can go over to Twitch or just stick with us here on TikTok. For Street Fighter, the movie, the game on the Sega Saturn. include cheesy, cheesy, and not so cheesy. I'm going to do the street battle because I believe the movie battle is like themed story mode and I don't think we want to do that right now. Should we play Van Damme himself? Some of these characters are hilarious. I am going to play Van Damme just for the fun of it. So you can see how bad they ended up making Guile on here. Surprisingly, there's a lot of complaints about this game of how cheesy it was and how horrible it played. It actually doesn't play that bad. Yeah, I am on Twitch, Keith. You can hop on over there to my Twitch. I know, I should have played Honda, but... I got to play Guile because it's Van Damme. Thank you. 
it, it actually, if you ignore how glitchy the character animations look, the gameplay is not horrible. It plays like an average fighting game, but it's just so choppy the way that they did these captures. It just looks ridiculous, but it's not really as horrible as it looks. I forgot how to Yeah, Bl Blanca was horrific. And they made Blanca and Charlie the same person in the uh, in the movie, so that makes sense, right? So that was Charles Bl uh, Blanca, according to the movie. Hey, it's Tony. Welcome to the live, playing a little Sega Saturn classic Street Fighter, the movie, the game. The funny thing about this uh, game, actually, is this version is specifically for the, the home console. There was a uh, arcade release with a little bit better graphics, but like a totally different story, different character roster. Um, this one was... Uh, Al, you need to come and join me for one of these streams. Especially when I'm playing a Street Fighter game. Samantha Rose, welcome to the live. Gameplay is also on my Twitch. <laughs> Look at this. This is the story. Are these little still photos with text. I mean, even even the regular fighting games, you know, had better story sequences than this. But the funny thing is, um, yeah, like I said, that there was a hey, Kylie Minogue starring a pop star as a fighting character as well. The costumes in this game were so bad because they were the costumes from the movie that were also bad. Keith, I see you in the Twitch. Welcome, bro. Round one. Fight. Cosplayers do better Street Fighter stuff than this every day. I'm just happy I can actually play uh, Saturn games on my on my Twitch now. Woo! Cammy, I see you. Okay. You little. Watch me lose to Cammy. Part of the reason I'm so excited to play Saturn games, other than the fact that I, I have some Saturn games that I absolutely love, is uh, that for fighting games, the controllers for the Saturn still to this day are one of the best. Uh, control was ever made for, for fighting games. I'm right now using the standard uh, six button controller that came with the Sega Saturn. The 3D controller that came with Knights is equally good for fighting games. Honestly, it's a bit bulky, but it it works great. Six button layout is, is perfect for your Street Fighter style fighting games. Way too close. Yeah, well. <laughs> You're right. That was way too close, but I probably shouldn't be looking at the stream, but looking at the actual gameplay. Get over there, Cammy. Oh, she fell for the double sweep. Yeah, you could literally take your Street Fighter knowledge from the other games and hop into these, and it played basically the same, except with really choppy animation. <laughs> I'm being roasted. My buddy Al is literally texting me right now about how inadequately I'm beating this horrible Street Fighter game. I'm actually amazed I'm doing this well. I thought that my Saturn might 
be a little uh, crusty crusty, but it's, it's, it's working okay. I need to go through and do some like TLC on some of these old systems and make sure they're working right now that I can be streaming them on Twitch. I wonder if I could find either a ROM or <laughs> of course the computer could pop off a flash kick that quick after doing a jump kick because you know computer couldn't recover your twitch account Hey, here's a game you won't see in any Capcom collections coming up. Street Fighter, the movie, the game. <laughs> I wonder if back in the day, if Nether... Uh, well, they weren't even Netherrealm, they were Midway back then, would have gotten a hold of these characters, what they could have done. Mr. Mask 3, thank you for the likes. I definitely need to find a better way to uh, stream to, to TikTok because you can literally see my reflection in the live, but that's okay. Next time, try and hit me back. I want this narrated by Jean-Claude Van Damme. Uncanny, welcome to the live. Playing a forgotten gem. Captain Sawada, a character who was supposed to be in the movie. Big, big character. And they, he was a background character. They ended up cutting everything out. Capcom was apparently wanting to really make this guy a thing. So he was created for the movie to be featured in later games. Yeah, they didn't do anything with him. Which is why if you played this and the arcade version, it seems like for some reason that character got more attention than your, your marquee characters. <laughs> because they were literally trying to make this dude a thing. They, they were like, no, this is, this is going to be the next star of the, the Capcom fighting series. But uh, I don't think he was in anything outside of these and maybe one of the EX games? I'm not sure. Those will be some titles I'll have to see if I can get a hold of. Uh, the Street Fighter EX Fighters, the, the 3D ventures of Street Fighter games. To get to get a, uh, somebody do a a main Mortal Kombat with the uh, live action Street Fighter characters put in it, and just make make Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter on a, on a main uh, like uh, a Mugen emulator. What do you think? Either I'm getting the hang of this, or um, Captain Swatty ain't all that. You win. Wow, Van Damme is, is not a very nice guy. He talks a lot of smack. Worthless and weak. That's what they need to do. Phil was talking about franchises that need to be fighting games. There needs to be like a action star fighting game. Like have all the action heroes from, you know, the 70s, 80s, 90s to, to now 
in one, it's like the, uh, what's it called? The Expendables, the, the fighting game. <laughs> That'd be, <laughs> be kind of cool. So last week I was playing Mortal Kombat on the Genesis, and yeah, it doesn't look great. But seriously, this doesn't look that much better, and this is a 32-bit game. Now, if you compare this to other games that were out at the title uh, at the time, uh, original PlayStation games and other Saturn games, this thing was just like, what were they doing? Exactly, Expendables, the video game. Yes, want to see that. Hello, Marcus. Welcome to the live. Playing a little bit of Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Fighting Balrog, who looks like somebody wearing silk pajamas. <laughs> you could make a better game with this now, with your iPhone and, like, a bunch of cosplayers. And this was, you know, Capcom and Major Motion Picture Studio. Oh, he's going to get me. Nice. Balrog hands me my first round loss with a super combo finish. So this was Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo era uh, when they made the game. And, you know, almost to the Alpha series. And, and then you got this. You compare this to Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo or to Street Fighter Alpha. And it's just like, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. Oof, Balrog's rocking me. Okay, let's wake up. Oh, oh! <laughs> no, okay, Balrog handles, not only hands me my right first round loss, but my first loss. Balrog, of all people. It was because I talked about his silk pajamas. Tell me that dude's not wearing purple pajamas. If you haven't seen this movie, I, I recommend that you find it. Don't don't pay a lot of money for it, but find it. <laughs> Just clear your day, because you're going to need some time to process how wonderfully horrible Street Fighter the movie is. I don't know why it's so difficult to make good movie video games, but Street Fighter... Eating your remote will be damn <laughs> Make sure that I actually pay attention here if I'm going to get some wins in. Let's... Oh man, I can't see the flash kick to save my life though. I like how they gave him a double sweep, but you see Van Damme like barely bending down. This is Mr. M Mr. Split Kick, you know. You win. Once again, the inspiration for Johnny Cage, the man who like had to do the splits in all of his movies, and his double sweep, he's barely squatting down. Round two, fight. You don't pay for it. <laughs> oh no, pay for it. The people that worked on this movie worked hard. They didn't do a great job, you know, with the finished product, but you know, people worked hard making this movie. And it's like Raul Julia's last film, so so pay some money if you're gonna buy it, get it. Just you know, know it's gonna be horrible. <laughs> Watching interviews with Raul Julia about making this movie before he passed away, he was like all excited to do a movie that like his kids could get into because he said his like kids were into Street Fighter. Get over there. Now, if you're wondering why I haven't done a super, um, it's because Guile Super at this point in time was extremely hard, and I was never good at it. So I'm not even—I will lose rounds just trying to do Guile's super. 
and you couldn't just meter burn and do other stuff. You didn't have an alternate one. You just had one super move back in this day, and it was brutal to do. And once again, Van Damme, you're not nice. Maybe it's about time you learn how to fight. I'm talking an awful lot of smack for a dude that lost the first time. That dude being me. Honda! Honda is a TV reporter, like camera crew guy. So is Balrog in this movie. It's great stuff. Can't even begin to cap, like, capsulate what this film was. And you gotta love those early CD-ROM load times. Honda's another character who he's like, yeah, they don't have squat down very low to do a lot of his moves, so he just looks like he's casually sticking his hands out there. Ooh, okay, okay, I see you, Honda. You're talking about squats, I understand you're wearing that towel you don't want to... Oh, with the double head butt. I should have played Honda, actually, because I do... Honda's my guy for people who are new to my content. Round two, fight. I'm a person. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for joining the live. And once again, like I said, gameplay where you can see a whole screen is uh, over on my Twitch. Links in my bio. And thank you for the follow, I'm a person. Awesome. Always nice to get new people following the channel. Um, the growth has been great, and it's I really appreciate it. I just want to share the love of, of the wonderful games like this. <laughs> I can be, There's so many amazing titles on the Saturn I could be playing. I could be playing Virtua on Cyber Troopers. I could be playing Marvel Super Heroes, uh, Virtua Fighter, Daytona USA. There's a lot of great games on this console. I'm playing Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Why? Because it's fun. <laughs> the game's actually, like I said, it looks like hot garbage. But the play's not horrible. It's just... If this game came out years earlier than when it did, it would have been, oh, wow, digitized characters in Street Fighter. Impressive. But considering when this came out, it was, yeah, about as unimpressive as the movie was. <laughs> but I get to fight Ming Na Win. For the, those of you, who, you know, who did not know this movie, did not realize, yes, Ming Na Win was Chun-Li. Agent May from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, I can't remember her name in Star Wars, Dark Gone It, but yeah. <laughs> He's Chun-Li. She'll always be Chun-Li to me. No matter how much that movie sucked, she will always be Chun-Li to me. found out recently it was Chun-Li's birthday according to the original Street Fighter 2 bio and uh, she's actually fairly close in age to me now way so it's appropriate Fireball. Ooh. Oh, I went into her kick. I leaned into it and got caught. Chun Li handing me my second round loss. I just don't want to hit, you know, a bounty hunter slash agent of shield, that's all. She kicks high. What other games should we hit? 
go ahead and let me know in the comments or message me directly if you have ideas for streams um, because now I've got the setup where I can I can hit like all my classic uh, consoles um, trying to get uh, my Atari controllers rebuilt so that I can play that and figure out exactly how to capture off the Atari because I'm not sure um, if my current device will work but I'm, I'm hoping because I do want to play some of those old Atari games that are like can't even describe my uh, excitement to be able to play that console again hey Chun I see you I love that diagonal kick. I, I wish they would give that back to Chun-Li in current games. Oh! Okay. Didn't think she was going to tag me with that one. And the over. This wasn't, you know, not necessarily in this game, but that Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo uh, incarnation of Chun-Li. She's going to beat me if I'm not careful. Yep, she got me. Fighting Masters for the win. <laughs> I played that a few weeks ago. I already played that, Al. <laughs> so I lost to Chun. All right, Chun. Learn to block. Yeah, you're right, actually. <laughs> Didn't block a lot. I was being super aggressive, and you made me pay. I'll never give up. I can't do a Van Damme. I sound like a bad Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I did. I played Fighting Masters on the stream. I actually made Andrew play it. <laughs> And he suffered through that game. What do you mean? A fighting game with a jump button. It's a special game. I'm hoping in a post-pandemic world I can get like a chance to meet up in person with some of the uh, people from the TikTok fighting game community and you know, introduce them some of these just like crazy games from back in the day. Wow, Chun is owning me this round. You need to wake it up. Right, ah, that over. Yep, she's going to get over there. Almost brought it back. Rock and Robin, welcome to the live. Thank you for joining us playing a little Street Fighter, the movie, the game. And Ming Na Win is kicking my butt. smart I would have fired this up and like practice some I just made sure it was loaded and I was like okay I'm gonna play Street Fighter the movie the game <laughs> and it shows
taking a strong defensive position in the corner and taking it to me. Get over here. Wow, okay. Two rounds lost to the Chun Master. And she's doing her little dance. Wow, okay. I better pay attention now. I almost played Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Um, since, you know, I did some Mortal Kombat last week. I was like, yeah, maybe I'll play some more Mortal Kombat. But, I felt that this game, with the announcement of Street Fighter VI, that we should remind Capcom of what they can do. And maybe what they shouldn't do. <laughs> I think... I think Van Damme did, like, the voice for the narration, too. I just found somebody with a Van Damme-like accent, but... It, it was... Look at the size of the rats in the background. Just revel in that for a second. <laughs> oh my goodness, Chun-Li. Wow, she does not want me to close on her. She does want to stomp on my head. Get over there. Yeah, I'm going to say that every time I land a throw. <laughs> she's, she's actually starting to play really smart, which is annoying because I'm not. press the advantage. Oh, oh, oh! With nine seconds left to go, she takes me. chun -Li is proving to be a problem. Brad, Chase, welcome to the live. I cannot seem to defeat the immortal chun -Li. She's the strongest one alive, though. She'll tell you. This is bad. I should not struggle this much with Chun Li. And I can't blame it on the game because, you know, I was just saying how it really doesn't play that bad, see? So I called myself out. Now I'm just, it's just proof that I suck. Oh. Chip me with the freaking lightning kick. All right. All right, Chun Li. I need to. Crime Crushers, welcome to the live. Get my butt kicked by Ming Na Win in Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Trying to play through with Jean Claude Van Damme because, you know, he was the star of the movie, even though we all know I probably would have been done better if I was playing Honda. And I believe there was a hidden Akuma fight. I'll have to look that up and see if there. I believe there is a hidden Akuma fight that you can do, although the way I'm playing right now, I definitely would not be unlocking that. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? There. You win.
Welcome everybody that's joining the live right now, playing a little Street Fighter the movie the game. Trying to beat Chun Li of all people. I think I just want to linger and hang out with Ming Na Wen and you know feel awesome by association because FGC guys at TikTok, you ever wonder why a lot of old school players don't talk about frame data? Because this is what the frames look like on our games. <laughs> this is what we had to deal with. Wow. Oh my gosh, I gave that round away. I was too busy cracking jokes. And I got beat down. This is this is serious. This is Street Fighter, the pinnacle of fighting game competition right here. Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Wow, oh, jeez. Seriously, I should stop messing around because I'm getting my butt kicked. <laughs> oh my god! But talk about the frames. That flash kick is so quick, you can't even see the animation. Oh, choppy. Thy name is Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Oh my gosh, that was bad. I walked right into that. I'm, I'm, I, wow. Welcome everybody who's joining the live now and seeing me get my butt kicked because I'm, I'm dwindling, I'm, I'm like crumbling under pressure. It's the pressure. I can't even skip through this. I never give up. I have to hurt and beat this with Guile so I can play a good character. Because I'm not. <laughs> I can't even say that. I like Guile. There are very few Street Fighter characters who I absolutely do not like, but we'll just say Guile wasn't the main of mine. I played him, but he wasn't a dude where I was like, oh, I'm excited to play Guile. I, 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 I can turtle with the best of them, but you know. <laughs> Ooh, you little creep. Oh, she caught me again. Wow, she's on that. I love how the computer can use charge moves without charging them. That's my favorite. Wow, I almost gave that one away by just being sucky. <laughs> no big vital bonus on that. Got to get past this round so we can see who else we need to fight besides just Chun. As much as we love Chun Li, can't stay here all night. Wow, she's just like on, and I am not. Ooh. Oh my goodness. comes again. It's funny. I'll be like on it for a round and then she's like, nah, I let you have that one. Get over there. Oh, 
Get over there. Oh, wow, that took entirely too long. You win. Now, Van Damme's going to talk smack, even though I got my butt kicked for I don't know how many rounds in a row. I wonder if you guys can hear the loading of the CD on the Saturn. Wow, I'm pretty sure um, that's the kind of thing that can get you in trouble on set there, Van Dam. You can hear the loading? Oh, no, you said finally. <laughs> Hi -ya. Oh, Ken. Ken looks, Ken looks like a vacuum cleaner salesman in this. It's great. <laughs> literally just looks like a, a dude. Some dude. Round one. Fight. He's, he's not even really blonde, but then again, neither is Van Damme. Van Damme's got at least dirty blonde. Ken just looks like, yeah, some guy. I went to high school with people who look more like Ken than you, dude. But could they show you again? Did he just shadow uppercut with? Yeah, he did. Glitchy much? Oh, with the big throw, Ken comes. See, I was talking smack about Ken. You lose. Talking smack about Ken, and I got taken down. Every now and then I'll look down at the TikTok screen and try to play off that. I can't, can't do that. <laughs> I cannot do that. The, the, it's like I don't know how many frames behind. It's really, really like you know. So that that would be bad. Don't do that, Dan. Oh, I'm so far behind already. I need to come. Oh. This can't be another Chun Li situation. We gotta make this happen. Bring it back. Not by walking into fireballs, you won't. What? Oh! I let go to try to throw, and he went right back into the hurricane kick. Taking me down. Thank you for the likes. I, I, I suppose I deserve that for talking smack about Ken. Now, I never give up. I never give up. So who else who else should be in the uh, the action star fighting game? Yes. Besides Van Damme. Van Damme, Schwarzenegger, Stallone, Jason Statham, Jet Li, Bruce Lee. Round one. Fight. seen myself. Yes, Bruce Lee for sure. Jackie Chan, no, definitely. Wait. Jackie Chan had a really good fighting game. I can't say really good. I played it in the arcade as a kid and I loved it because it had three different versions of Jackie Chan. I like the Drunken Master. Uh, but, Hitman, yes.
Yeah, it was a good game actually. It was it wasn't horrible, but it was it kind of uh, Mortal Kombat-y, you know, but had Jackie Chan as three different playable characters and Bolo <laughs> Yeah. Bolo would be awesome. You gotta get uh, Bruce Leroy and uh, and show enough from Into the Dragon. They need to be in it. Uh, Into the Dragon for uh Wow, I'm, I'm confusing a Bruce Lee movie with a Black Exploitation movie. <laughs> um, from The Last Dragon. Damn, damn, talk so much smack when I just got my butt kicked. How many more we got? Having a surprisingly good time playing this game as... Scary, bad as it is. Zandgif. Zandgif. Zandgif don't look half bad. I mean, he's not like like Zangief, Zangief big, but he's a pretty decent dude. He's alright. If anything, he's like he's too lean. He's not like big enough, you know. Zangief's just like towering muscle. But this guy, he's pretty. He's pretty bad. Pretty massive. Ooh, and he's gonna punish me for talking smack about him too. Look. I think everybody in this game is loosely based on the mechanics of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, so their gameplay had reached that level of the character's evolution. So, Zangief has that little swat. You win. Michael Joe White. Ah. Round two. Fight. Get off me, Mr. Zangiefy. Woo! Look at the damage. Look at that prime Zangief damage. Nope, out, dies in. Get a little. The dude who plays Zangief in the movie is the guy who can. Oh! Oh! He got me. Really? He was chasing in the Friday the 13th remake, huh? Interesting. Definitely got the size for Jason. I need to stop looking down at the TikTok screen and try to play. I'm actually surprised I got off a couple of hits while looking at the TikTok screen. Because, <laughs> yeah. That is definitely not what's happening uh, real time, but it's okay. Uh, it's funny. And the funny part was I didn't even realize I was doing it until I was reading comments. Oh, I knew it. I knew he was going to punish me for that. Ah, I would have punished me for that. I deserved it. That was, that was pure arrogance trying to go in there with that. <laughs> Ah, uh, but I, I narrowly survived. That was funny. Zankyf with the big friggin' Siberian Express punish. That's gonna be a highlight. I liked that. It was against me, but I liked it. Focus. Yeah, I know. I need to focus. I'm losing because I'm sitting here reading. Read the comments in the load screens. Read the comments in the load screens. That's the fun part of this, is getting to interact with people. All about sharing the gaming love. <laughs> DJ. DJ literally looks like a DJ. <laughs> uh, some, of the, some of the characters in this movie were not fighters in any way. No, not you, DJ. <laughs> you could be a DJ. 
Can I use some of my music mixing equipment to make some make some beats for me? You could be DJ DJ. Yeah, man, you're already DJ Duck. <laughs> you just would be DJ Duck making music. So even though his sprite looks ridiculous, he still plays like DJ. So he's giving me some trouble because out of the new fighters, actually DJ was always one of my favorites. Everybody was all over Cammy, but I liked DJ and uh, T Hawk a lot. Fei Long also was awesome, of course. But once again, people were on Fei Long. Nobody, nobody was on DJ. Look at that with the super combo finish. DJ taking me to the floor. Okay, DJ. Yeah, he has all the hits and the playlist. That's right. And Gomez Adams Bison. Yes, like I said, Raul Julia. One of his last movies was Street Fighter the movie, and uh, he makes a he makes a great bison. Probably the, the best casting aside from, like, the dude that plays Vega looks amazing. Sagat's not bad either. Um, Zangief's pretty decent, but some of the casting was special. You know, DJ, you need to back up off me, buddy. Get over there. Wow! And he's the save against the damage. And once again, the super threw my Sonic Boom. Oh, and he... Oh, <laughs> wow, DJ playing smart. He's like, no, I don't just have an iPod I plug into the sound system. I'm a real DJ. This is on the, the Sega Saturn. This is the Sega Saturn version. which I'm sure you might be able to hear the loading of the CD-ROM from time to time. Because <laughs> the system... This is my original Saturn that I had. I keep bumping the tripod. Yeah, I was saying earlier that, you know, some of the phenomenal, great, great fighting games that were on the Saturn, and I'm playing Street Fighter, the movie, the game. <laughs> I should just do a... Embarrassing? Yeah, it was embarrassing. I should do a, uh, a series on some, uh, yeah, less than thrilling fighting games that for some reason I still have a soft spot for. Play like Balls 3D, Clay Fighter, TMNT Tournament Fighters. Never had a Sega Saturn. Saturn was a great console. I loved it. Was that a perfect? That yeah, was a perfect. Yeah, see, I made up for at least on that one. Um, now I'm gonna screw up because I talked all that about how. Oh yeah, perfect casually. Um, there were a lot of great fighting games on the Saturn. It was great at 2D games, so your Capcom fighters were phenomenal. The 3D fighting games on the Saturn not so great. Uh, Virtua Fighter 2 and Virtua Fighter were good. Um, he was dizzy. Of course he was dizzy. He's the computer. Um, wow, I'm going to get punished. He's like, you going to get a perfect on me? I don't think so. You don't give a dizzy pass on a computer. It's a computer. If it's a player, okay. You punish the computer, Al. Come on. Especially when I've been losing. <laughs> yeah, but I knew I was going to... I should have joined for the sweep. Yeah, HD... Uh, MK had smoother rendered characters. Um, like I said, the arcade version of this game looked a little bit better. Um, it still wasn't pretty. But it, it, it looked better than this. Oh, look at that. I should not lose to DJ. Come on, man. Focus up, boy. Focus up. Oh, I'm going to let him get cross-ups on me. Um, I actually almost popped in. Wow, look at the doubles with the... F 
Why oh. is he popping the double max outs? He should have actually punished me for that, but he did come in anyway with the super. Um, I almost played Mortal Kombat Trilogy um, for the Saturn here, which was like a uh, Mortal Kombat 3 mashup with all the MK characters. has everybody in it, including playable bosses. Um, but I did MK last week, so I figured I'd give Street Fighter a shot, but uh, obscure Street Fighter. All right. You get a perfect and then you get punished. You got to come back and play this like you know what you're doing, Dan. I love a blue screen in the back that they take their photos. It's just a blue screen. They didn't bother to superimpose them on anything in the blue screen. It's literally like where they did the capture. <laughs> they just took the headshots and didn't put anything. They're like, yeah, this is where we did the motion capture for the game. So... Just stand in front of the blue screen and make a face. This is where I would do a super if I could do Guile's super in this game, but I can't. smart with it. Wow, my damage is low on that jump kick. You win. I want to see a creative programmer take this concept and make a good version of Street Fighter the movie, the game. Come on. It's 2022. People could do anything. I thought you'd be working tonight, Al. Still need to have you over and play some fighting games. Wow. I just keep giving these rounds back by doing stupid stuff. Like that. Look at the hops! Look at the hops, DJ! Oh, that was pretty. Yeah, zero health, but I got it. That was funny. Did you see that leapfrogging back and forth, back and forth? Oh, man, if I didn't know you were off today, I, if I knew you were off today, I would have had you come over and join me for the stream. You know, I'm still on. You could drive over here you know, and, and hang out with me and play fighting games. The Saturn's hooked up. I mean, come on, you know. <laughs> And Guile talking smack for no reason because that wasn't impressive, Guile. You barely won. Sagat! Um, don't stab yourself with a needle, please. Are you wearing the hand protector things? Yes. That's that's. Oh, the tiger knee. And the tiger uppercut. So yeah, the sprite doesn't look pretty, but he still plays like Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Sagat. Which means he's killing it with each one of those little openings. Wow. That was embarrassing. If I can't beat this guy, how am I going to beat Raul Julia? <laughs> he's going to dance the babushka on me. quick those tiger shots are. Dang! Okay, I'm actually struggling getting through. 
does he not? Man, I cannot believe how quick his tiger shots are. <laughs> the tiger knee that literally looks like he's squatting to go to the bathroom. You I sure did. I got a knee. That was that was not pretty. Shouldn't I, I need to stick with Kyle. I need to stick I don't wanna play I wanna play well against Sagat. Honestly I'd like to play Rio or Ken. But um But I'm playing Kyle. I'm playing Kyle. Still Sagat, you still take his legs out. That was better. That was better. Now because I did that, he's gonna punch me in the <laughs> You're gonna be like, oh, let's see how you are. Ooh, with that tiger knee. Nope. I need to get him in those tiger shot patterns. And then hit him. Whoa, okay. Believe it or not, I was blocking that, but that's okay. Yep, nope. He owned that one. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Round three, fight. Wow. Before he does it, or he's gonna do that because he has that monstrous uppercut from old school. So got. What did you see him get over that? He should have uppercutted there. I, I thought he was gonna uppercut there. You I thought I just gave away the round, but the computer was kind. <laughs> and I don't think that I think the I think there is random order. I don't think it was like boss fights because obviously it should have been like Vega before Sagat, but I don't I don't I think it just kind of goes random. Bison is now. So it didn't get Vega. Sad thing about this game is I believe Royal Julia passed away before they made it, or he was very sick. Um, so I don't believe that the character pictures or or sprites were actually Royal Julia, but, but a body double. Um, I may be wrong there, but I think that's the case because they if you if you look at all of the sequences where they show Raul Julia, they're like captures from the movie, and then everything else that uses like for the game itself is um, his face is obscured. So it's like they'll have pictures like that one in the background that are straight out of the film, and then 
the character model, you can't really see his face, and then like even the headshot for the character, the hat is down low, so you can't see the face. So I, I don't think that Ronald Julia actually was involved in the making of the game, which is a little sad because it would be cool to have him actually really in a video game. Um, but he was very sick when they, even when they were filming the movie, he was already, uh, he was already sick. But uh, barely squeaked, squeaked that one. Barely. You win, Jessica, or Jesse. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to read here. Uh, Welcome, as names pop up, welcome to the stream, playing a little bit of Street Fighter the Movie, The Game, featuring the legendary Jean-Claude Van Damme fighting against Raul Julia's body double. Uh, <laughs> oh, I knew he was going to punish me for that one. Big mistake. I love the concept that they're fighting each other, and in his big old like doomsday machine, he's got like a video of showing their pictures. Because <laughs> you know, if you're a dictator fighting off against, uh, you know, I think he was supposed to be in the UN in this. Actually, I think it was like <laughs> they were like UN soldiers. Um, Van Damme's like wearing, you know, he's wearing that blue instead of the standard green uniform. Oh, Bison, you are working it. Even if you are Raul Julia stunt double, you're still kicking my butt. I was afraid of that. Anybody joining us live in the stream, it's Street Fighter the Movie the Game on the Sega Saturn. Um, you can go over to Twitch and see a little bit better uh, game capture versus just my camera pointed at my monitor. But um, I need to be able to actually beat Bison here. He's kicking my butt. But I never give up. He's lying, actually. He did give up. He gave up his acting lessons, and you can tell by the reading of that. Line. God versus Bison. Let's see if I can pull this off now. Round one. Fight. I like when the computer uses the super to evade a projectile. Because then that means if he's using that to evade the projectile, I'm not going to necessarily eat it. That was a perfect... Oh, no. That means he's going to be mean next round. He's going to be mad at me and punished for the perfect. A lot of points, though, for the perfect. Look at that. Look at that. This literally just makes me want to play Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo because all the little mechanics that they put in this from that game, and then that game's just better. <laughs> Oof. Oh! Okay. I need to stop. Don't look at the TikTok screen when you're fighting Bison. Yep, that big damage there. Big boss damage. You lose. Time 
to choke on your own special moves. Yep. Dang it. And then once I missed a couple of those flash kicks and uh, Sonic, I'm like, oh, I'm not popping it off. I'm going to lose. Old man must be getting tired. But much like Jean-Claude Van Damme, I never give up. <laughs> so bad. Guile. We're going to do this with Guile. We're doing it. That is the plan. Alright. This is the round. I feel it. so he doesn't have to hate me. Oh, really? Okay. Good to know. Thought I would be able to flash King of Matter, but he says no. Pressure. Nice. Ooh. This is where boss mechanics come to play. Like those throws that should have finished him suddenly dwindle. But it's okay. We got him anyway. Only 400 vital. But we beat Bison. Gal one. The admiration of the world as global news television broadcast. The alloyed nation forces crushing victory over M. Bison. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that shouldn't have been that hard to do, but for some reason it was. Uh, I haven't played this game in so long, it's crazy. I haven't had my Saturn hooked up in so long. Street Fighter, the movie, the game. They go through all this thing of having the, the video and stuff, but do they make the ending a video? No, it's just a picture, a still photo from the movie. And there we have it. Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Guile. Arcade ending. There's a story mode where like, I could play through like the story of the movie and whatnot. Maybe we'll do that another time. But I think we're going to keep the stream relatively short tonight. Thank you to everybody who joined me. And uh, I hope to have some more fun, crazy games to share with you guys in the future. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.